James Barnett is this month's military hero. The Victoria native and Victoria High School graduate was 18 years old when he was drafted into the military. I was drafted into the Army, and uh, when I was going to the Army recruiter, the Air Force recruiter called me over because they were in the same building. He talked to me, and uh, from there, maybe a week later, I was in basic training. The Air Force veteran worked as part of a security police team transporting scientists and professors to military bases, as well as transporting prisoners of war to the military hospital in San Antonio. And it was a sad experience seeing those guys like that. Um, it was traumatic. I mean, they, some of them probably maybe weighed 80 pounds, you know. And uh, it was very sad back then. It was very sad for a young guy to see. <laughs> He was also in Saigon before the Vietnam War ended in 1975. He says the protests were much more violent then than they are now. It was very violent. He not only, I mean, you had, uh, they were protesting against the Vietnam War. That's where it all started. And uh, like I said, they didn't, all the Air Force bases or all the bases basically were guarded or, or rioted every day, just about every weekend. You can see them down the highway, just hundreds and hundreds of people just walking the highway between Wright Patterson and Dayton, Ohio. The nightmares caused by his post traumatic stress disorder didn't begin until he started his retirement. To other veterans suffering from PTSD, Barnett says it's important to seek help if you need it. Suicide is not the answer, love is the answer to everything. I lost my, I lost a son in 96 and I went downhill very quick. You know, I mean, I, I was at the verge, but my family brought me back up to life. There's no reason for a veteran to be homeless anywhere in the United States. The government is willing to help any veteran. And you got to reach out to them. They're not gonna come to you. You have to go to them. Barnett says it's also important to keep fighting and to not give up on life. With 25 News Now, I'm Carolina Estrain.